Today I will be in mic up drawing three random people using this very old drawing tablet. Oh sh- For the past week I watched a ton of tutorials just to learn how to do digital art. Shout out to Miss Wondernat for her artistic inspiration. Her drawing video series are amazing. Let's get it. Miss Mona? Hi. Would you like to be drawn? Sure. Alright. I'm gonna start with the hair. This hair is kind of hard to stylize because there's just like so much going on. Let's see here. Okay, so there's two hairs. Damn! Three, four, five, six, seven hairs. That's a lot. For the glasses, I'm just gonna do very thick lines. There's also this um, terminology called visual hierarchy. The thicker or thinner a line is, it shows its uh, importance. Set as reference layer, move this to the top. Boom! This needs to be more centered. I almost forgot these. I'm putting on the shadows now. Gonna skip the eyes cause she emo. Just kidding. This right here is gonna give the hair more texture. Clothing creases. This will make the dark shadow seem less heavy. Okay, so there's pink, brown, black, a lot of warm colors dominating the canvas, right? So what's a good complementing color? It's gonna be a cool color. And I'm gonna call this one finished. Miss Mona likes it. I'm gonna call the first one a success. Oh. Let's go draw the second person now. We got a booth. Would you like to get your avatar drawn? Yes, please. You look like a Fortnite skin. I'm gonna do the sketch this time, just to make sure that I get the side perspective correct. Even though her eyes are gonna be blocked by her shades, it's gonna be the first thing people look to. And I want people to look into something. So right here, I can't cover the neck outline because if I did, there would be no point of reference and the head structure would like look really weak. Here's the final sketch. Gonna put the transparency to low. Hold on, I think I got something better. Damn, now she's batting an eye at us. Lower lip jots out too much. It needs to be tucked in more. That's a better. I just realized that the right hair bang needs to be in the front. So it's gonna be swept to the side here for a natural look. I went ahead and added temporary colors to see if the outline makes sense or not. It does. And now I'm gonna do more intricate outlines. Look at this, it looks weird, right? There's no mass, no structure. Her left breast is completely inflated. It's like, it's gone. It does not exist. I'm gonna change the skin tone just a little bit. Her skin is like uh, more tanner than I thought. Gotta get all of it in. Can't miss the little spots. That was a lot of work. I'm gonna call this one finished. It looked good so f far. Okay, on to the third and final person. Mr. Shanko Cow? Hello. Are you a clanner? Maybe. Would you like to be drawn? Sure. Alright. I'm gonna do a speed draw this time. It's gonna be very quick. I'm gonna start with what's in the very front, which is the hat. I'm gonna put in a base color. 
Wait, I think it looked better if the nose is tucked in under the bandana. The beautiful hair for beautiful people is a classic hair, you know? The tips are very pointy, so we gotta convey that. Add a spike right here, and another one right here. I'm gonna use an airbrush and uh, follow along the folds like this, along the lines. Watch this, I'm gonna make it rough lines as a way to really emphasize the highlights. It's very sketchy and I love it. And don't forget this spot here. Hair's gotta get some lighting too. Place a little highlight on the shades. And I'm gonna add highlights on the banana as well. This shadow right here is caused by his hat. I'm gonna make the light source more clear. His right side is gonna be more dark with shadows and then his left side is gonna be more light with the light reflection. Okay, I think we should stop here and call this one finished. What can I say but shanks you? <laughs> And that's all three avatars drawn in three different styles. Now you may ask, Jabox, you've only done digital art for like just two weeks. How were you able to do this? My answer is a lot of study and a lot of practice. And on top of that, a lot of hard work. I was grinding at least like six hours a day, every day. If you want to get better at digital art or even just art in general, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube. Search up whatever you want to learn or anything you don't know. Line art, proportion, color theory, perspective, anything. And apply what you learned into your practice, you know? If you don't have a drawing tablet, that's all right. I started out with traditional pencil and paper for a long time. Start small and then work your way up. Now with that being said, I'll continue to keep learning. We don't stop here, it's only the beginning. From this point on, we will only get better. More challenges will come soon because that's life. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you would like to see more content in the future, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.